Let's face it, animal babies are simply irresistible. Just look at those big eyes and button noses and try not to smile. But animal births are not only an exciting addition for the zoo and its visitors, they're also important for the success of their species. In February 2017, our North American River otters, Emmy and Mac, welcomed a great addition to our zoo family. Emmy gave birth to two pups, a boy and a girl, Maisie the female and Ollie the male. Otters deliver litters of one to six young. When the female is ready to give birth, she retreats to her underground den, which is usually near water. They are born helpless. They are eyes closed, ears closed, um, totally dependent on mom for the first month or so. Emmy's been an awesome mom so far. We're so excited at how well she's done. At this stage, the babies mainly sleep and eat. It's not until the end of the first month that the babies become more active. The eyes and ears open when they're about uh, 25 to 30 days old. Around two months old, the fun begins. The otter pups get advanced swimming lessons from mom. So baby otters uh, need to be taught how to swim. You'll see the mother otter dragging them into the water and dunking them under the water and diving. They take to swimming pretty easily, but they do have to be coaxed. Otters have many special adaptations that help them swim, like webbed feet, a powerful tail, and water repellent fur. Since males don't help raise the young, Mac was separated from Emmy and the pups for the first few months. Once the pups began to swim well, Mac was reintroduced to the family. We enjoyed watching the two pups grow and interact. The female, Maisie, uh, takes after her mom, Emmy. Very curious and assertive. Ollie is becoming his own little man. And Mac is starting to stay on his own again because we're getting close to birthing season again. Maisie and Ollie are going to be leaving us to go to other zoos and we're going to miss them so much. While it can be difficult to say goodbye, we know that Ollie and Maisie will be contributing to the continued success of the species. The Alexandria Zoo participates in the species survival plan for the North American River otters. Um, it's one of the many conservation efforts we take part in. The North American River otters are very plentiful here in the south, but in other parts of the country, they are threatened because of pollution and habitat destruction. Through programs like SSPs, AZA accredited zoos across North America work together to maintain healthy, self-sustaining populations. <laughs>